Why is it that we're running all over the place looking for every kind of conspiracy, every kind of explanation, except the one explanation that Pope Francis gives us that actually makes sense and that can actually be verified? All this other stuff, I can't verify unnamed sources. That's hearsay. I can't I can't verify half of the stuff that I see online that are conspiracies on why traditionalist custodes happened. But I can verify the reason that Pope Francis gave. And it certainly rings true in my experience. This is in the accompanying letter to the bishops after issuing traditionalist custodes. He tells us why. But never, he said, but I am nevertheless saddened that the instrumental use of Missale Romanum of 62 is often characterized by a rejection, not only of Pachamama, no, that's not what he says, of the liturgical reform, but of the Vatican, the Second Vatican Council itself, claiming with unfounded and unsustainable assertions that it betrayed the tradition of the true church let's stop right there you know that this is true i am sure you have experienced this i'm sure you've come across people who are trying to use the tlm as a badge of tradition over and against the post-conciliar church and the second vatican council itself and the magisterium itself that is why he issued traditionis custodis Oh wait, before you go, I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting this channel. This is my primary means to provide for my family, and it also helps me to produce content like this video. If you would like to support me, become a patron by visiting patreon.com forward slash reason and theology. You'll also get access to extra exclusive content when you become a patron. Lastly, hit that like button and the subscribe button, and be sure to leave a comment down below. God bless.